Hello gamers, welcome to another my video and so to say another episode of the game called The Walking Dead Survivors. So in this video I prepared to completely make guide tips and tricks and sort to say a little tutorial about event called Strongest Survivor. Strongest Survivor, here we are, here we are what I'm talking about. So all tips and tricks for each stage, I will tell you all tips and tricks for each stage so you to be successful and to get highest reward, especially this reward, how to be successful for each stage. So in this video it will be all about Strongest Survivor and if it, there is some time I will tell you some other tips and tricks in this game. Okay, before we start with video, let's hear the word from the sponsor. They have always nice discounts and offers for this game so let's check it out gamers before we start this video i want to let you know about new thing called game center and what are new campaign and giveaways in the whole web gallery and in game the walking dead survivors it's easy to join their campaign and giveaways from anywhere in the world if you don't have Huawei device then you just download whole web gallery on any android device in official link in description of this my video and then when you make account in Huawei Web Gallery, you just must set country region to either Italy or Netherlands, so you could join the campaign and discounts. Also, all these offers works if you play game on some mobile phone emulators on your computer. So in Huawei Web Gallery, there is often campaigns and giveaways, and at the moment you can check these offers. As you can see, first offer is where you get 10% cashback in Huawei points of every purchases in The Walking Dead Survivors, only in Huawei Gallery, and one Huawei point is worth one in local currency. Then there is second offer, as you can see, three coupons, so if you spend minimum 10 euros, you will get 2 euros back, then when you spend 20 euros, you will get 4 euros, and when you spend 100 euros, you will get 15 euros back and there is is also special christmas giveaway event that works in many games and in the walking dead survivors only in app gallery so as you can see you can get 10 percent cash back for games so basically you spend money in game and start to accumulate christmas socks and one euro spent in cash will give you one sock and with collected enough socks you can claim pay save card but you need to have an available pay save card account before and your pay save card account must be in one of the countries where is promotion active here list of all those supported countries or pay save card also join us in who web gallery discord group to see and participate in future giveaways bonus codes in game and surprises and to have a lot of fun to receive many benefits and in that our Discord group you can also get support and help for your purchases in game in Who Web Gallery. And you can ask for more explanation of, for how works App Gallery Game Center and VIP program. Link of that our Discord group you can find in the pinned comment and in the description of my video. So new interesting thing in Who Web Gallery is called Game Center. Let me explain how it works. As you can see explanation you can pause video to read it more easily. So point is to apply to loyalty program in game center and so when you spend money in game you will get in loyalty rewards and eventually in VIP club and so get a lot of benefits, coupons and discounts. Here another explanation of it so just pause, pause video to read it more easily. So as you can see there are 9 levels of loyalty rewards and get many benefits from them and when you spend 10 dollars you will be already level 3 in, in loyalty rewards. And as you can see there are VIP program with 3 levels depending how much money you spent in loyalty program. Please for more information so VIP program and game center join us in our discord group and the link of that our discord group you can find in the pinned comment and in the description of my video. So type game center in search in Huawei web gallery and then install game center. After you install game center you will have new icon on your phone and then go to the game center and apply to the loyalty reward program. And there you can also find all these informations, loyalty rewards and coupons you earn. Here short video of how to download and install Huawei web gallery and also check description of my video for more information. So you can download the Huawei web gallery from the official link in description of my video and then when you make account you just must set country region to either Italy or Netherlands so that you can join the campaign. 
then go to the promotion and click on the Walking Dead Survivors and download game. Thank you for listening and thanks Huawei for all these nice offers and campaigns. En enjoy the video gamers. Okay mates, let's get started. So, we will go to I explain you from Strongest Survivor each uh, stage about it. So each stage has to be successful. So I want to tell you from the start, we'll talk about fifth stage. Unfortunately, I was not too much available to play too much Strongest Survivor this week but i play all all the time so i advise you to finish as much as you can strongest survivor because you can get a lot a lot here we are a lot of these legendary combat skills to use okay so i want to tell you about stage five while we will first focus on stage five well, well stage five is powering up and as you can see it is very nice everything described when you click here what you're gonna get points from which you get points and in powering up you, it is very interesting that you can very easily get very high rewards and very good ranking if you wait and hold on your, your upgrades of your survivors so for example here we are my survivors and this is my experience of these survivors that i have for combat experience and development experience so don't use experience to upgrade so hold on your upgrades of your all your survivors until there is strongest survivor powering up event stage five here we are and so when this even when this stage is on stage five then you just go and upgrade all your survivors so here we are all your survivors you upgrade them level them up especially you will get a lot of points if you level them level them up in Lean on my in for example 70 points 70 level from 69 and so on like milestones so i want to tell you to hold on if you can if if you don't get attacked and so on try to wait strongest survivor event so to do those upgrades of your survivors so i'm telling you this you will get a lot of points without killing other players troops in powering up very easily you will get points so just hold your upgrades of your survivors and so save your experience so when strongest survival stage 5 here we are stage 5 is on and do all upgrades of your survivors and you will very easily be very high ranked use all your experience on all upgrades on all survivors especially on all survivors and level level them up so to you get points for stage 5 okay let's go to the next stage and also I wanted to tell you in stage 5 as you know it is you will get points when you kill uh, enemy troops uh, from other players so from before stage 5 starts you need to have shields to activate shield here we are my shield here we are activated shield so just before 5 stage starts activate shield that will last one day but i prefer like to activate shield that is three day shield so just to make sure to be so to say sure but you must activate at least 20, 24 hour shield because it is pvp stage and so you, many going to attack other players to kill troops for that stage to get points okay so if you don't want to get points from killing other players troops then you just upgrade your survivors for stage 5 when it is on and you will be very very high ranked very easily save those experience for that stage to use them and don't worry you will get highest reward and probably very nice ranked if you upgrade a lot a lot survivors okay we're going to the next levels in strongest survivor Let's go now from the number one. Also for number six, while we are here, you can get a lot of points. Also, if you miss stage five to level up, you can also get nice points for leveling up your survivors and everything else. Here we are, everything else that you can get. Uh, <clears throat> that you can get for stage five, it is very nicely everything described, but 
I advise you to use all experience and level up survivors only when it is stage 5. Ok, let's go from the number 1 stage. I advise you for number 1 stage to do not do research as you can see rewards is like this everything here. I don't advise you to do points for research in, because it requ requires the research points because it, it needs a lot a lot a lot points needs from research to get rewards from stage one so just do woodbury army as much as you can here we are i advise you to uh, do especially woodbury army level 22 don't do level that is lower than that level lower than 22 because a lot of points you will get from woodbury army for this stage from many stage you will get a lot of points from just doing woodbury army so also as you can see abundant and ziki you will get nice points also but i advise you woodbury army especially level 25 if you can together with your clan to do so just don't do research for stage one because you will need to do a lot research to get points and it is not useful at all to do research in stage one because you need to do a lot research to get points and a lot speed ups to finish those research so just in stage one do woodbury army okay we're going to the number two stage and stage two is very interesting for you to I describe you as you can see construction here we are construction crazy things so to say and for this is interesting if you you can very easily from get highest reward very easily you can get highest reward if you speed up of your upgrade building that have highest uh, time to finish so for example let's see my buildings what is needed to finish so for example this building square level 22 that i'm leveling up if i speed up and finish that speed up i will very easily get highest reward so it is not so gra uh, how to how to say it is not so important rule but it is so to say uh, very good thing very good point to show you uh, if it is building requires a lot time to finish upgrade and you finish it on stage two strongest the uh, strongest uh, survivor then you will get very highest reward so the more building is needed time to finish the more points you will get from that stage in the strongest survivor so it is not implied for each building but something like this works if more building is required to finish uh, time to finish upgrade the more points you will get in strongest survivor in this stage construction st stage and if you for example started playing this game and don't have some buildings that requires too many days to be, be finished to get this tactic that i showed you to get the highest reward immediately when finish that building so just speed up upgrade of building if it requires too much time to get those points then you can just send your as you can see send your true send your formations all your formations send them together any resource it's best is to gather lumber because or meat because it will give you the most points as you can see and especially but you must know that uh, veggie and water give you a, a lot more you can from gathering resources a lot more you can gather than lumber and meat because lumber and meat needs a lot more time to gather many those resources than for water and ve veggies so that is why it is lower points than lumber and meat but make sure if you don't want to if you don't have for example to finish immediately upgrades that requires a lot of time to finish upgrades then you can send all your as i said formations to gather resources but just make sure you put this thing gathering speed here we are on so make sure you put activated gathering speed so your true your all your formations that you sent gather more resources 
and you get more points for that stage so let's go to the other stage to show you so here we are so that is little trick try if you are a higher level player if you have some buildings that for example need the upgrade uh, like six or seven days try to speed up that building immediately to be finished on this day and you will get highest reward very easily because it it requires a lot of time to a lot give you a lot of points from buildings that needs a lot of time to be upgraded and also if you use speed ups on those buildings you will get a lot a lot a lot of points okay let's go to the numbers uh, third position stage let's see what we have here here is also you can upgrade you can get a lot of points for woodbury army don't attack any walkers on any stage do not attack walkers to get points just do woodbury army because you will get a lot more um, resources and everything else and a lot more easily points you will get from woodbury army so for example level 25 walker will give you these points while level 20 level 20 give you woodbury army like these points a lot a lot more points than attacking walkers so always always when it is uh, even stage one and stage three do as much as you can those days woodbury army with your clan together and finish as much as you can woodbury army to get those points and you will very easily get highest reward in those stages okay let's see so also it is little bo bo boost in points if you train your fighters but don't focus on it on it don't speed up or building your fighters because it will not give you just so many points like doing woodbury army so save your energy and bread for doing as much as you can whole day woodbury army all the time if you, if no one start woodbury army then you start rally of that woodbury army to get highest reward and also of course do highest level the woodbury army that you can <clears throat> that you will sure you could win or join some woodbury army that someone already make okay we're going to the number stage number four let's see what we have here <clears throat> for stage number four don't focus uh, too much uh, on uh, long range and short range transmissions just focus on gathering resources because as you can see like like in other stage you can also get a lot of points from gathering resources very easily you will get highest reward if you gather resources and if you just need little more points you can just do grab on the, or long range transmissions or short range transmissions but there is something very interesting that i must point out everything what you do in this stage try to do stage when it is survival challenge so for example when it is survival challenge like this try to finish and do as much as you can when that survival challenge is on so for example in construction craze try to wait survival challenge when it is needed to finish uh, building upgrade so to get points also from strongest survivor and so to get points also from survival challenge for for finishing for example upgrade of buildings so that is a little trick so to try to use survival challenge or, or if you for example want in strongest survival challenge to wait ready and grab <clears throat> you can also in this stage to wait and hold on to long range and short range transmission to not use them at all and wait this uh, stage to be on so you could use all and open all long range transmissions so to get points in this stage but also make sure survival challenge is on where it is uh, for example opening transmission so you could get points from strongest survivor and to get points from survival challenge and that way you will be very high ranked in survival challenge and also very high ranked in stronger survivor then we're going to do of course in uh, uh, stage number six i explained you sir stage number five just wait to upgrade your survivors uh, at stage five wait stronger wait stronger survivor event 
and when it is powering up then upgrade all your survivors development combat survivors every survivor as much as you can use all your experience and you will be very high ranked in powering up stage in stage six is little of everything so to say so if you miss some of those stages like me you can use this stage six for for example increase one uh, building power for example let's try with this one to show you how it looks like to so i speed up for you for example speed up uh, broadcasting because it will be soon over let's see let's speed up to see what we points we get all finished and here we are in strongest survivor because it requires and here we are how much points i got a lot lot points because that building requires a lot time to finish so i got a lot points from it so that is little trick also survival challenge as you can see it so for example like this in strongest survivor when it is stage radiant grab <clears throat> like this and survival challenge is like this radiant grab then you just do as much as you can long range transmissions as you can see i have a lot long range transmissions here we are a lot long range transmissions i have oh very nice so just wait to use all your long range transmissions when that event is on and when it is for example ready and grab event in strongest survivor and when it is on survival challenge that is radio and so that way in both way you will get a nice nice rewards and very high ranked if you open a lot of range transmissions for example in survival challenge and in strongest survivor so that is little tricks about strongest survivor to summarize things in research frenzy in stage one just focus on on uh defeating woodbury army don't attack walkers or uh, or uh, research because it you, you need to do a lot of research to get points because you have you will get a lot less points from researches so do all the time woodbury army in construction craze in stage two just finish some building that requires a lot of time to be finished and you will get a lot of points and also uh gather resources to get highest reward and in the stage number three just as same do as much as you can woodbury army as you can see and of course you can use some training troops to get highest reward in stage four just wait so <clears throat> for each stage try to wait survival challenge to you could finish those rewards but for example in stage four it is very easy ready and grab just wait this survival challenge that is, that will start soon radio and you just open as much as you can long range transmissions and also do gathering resources to just little more get points and if you really need a lot more a lot little more points then you can do some grab in junkyard to get highest reward in this stage in stage five just wait to upgrade all your survivors and in stage six is everything or little of everything that is summarized as you can see everything here just it is not applied woodbury army i think so to say so everything is little by here to get last reward okay that would be it i, I hope so i didn't too much confuse you about uh, strongest survivor just to show you this settlement siege i have to advise you this is the highest what you can get when you get highest reward from this so just to tell you that uh, Ziki is the best in, in settlement siege so to say Ziki is the amazing but I will explain you in other of my videos I already told you that so Ziki is one of the best I got this. especially if you don't have other uh, so to say uh, epic uh, survivors Ziki is one of the best for finishing level in settlement siege i'm talking about i'm talking about this so just make sure you have set in settlement siege battles on your ziki 
survivor because he is proven very very good one of the best survivors for finishing these levels of se settlement siege and so don't worry because he have very nice gun that kill every walkers very easily okay that would be it for this video sorry for little i hope so i didn't too much confuse you if you have any questions what i said just ask me as comments and i will try to help you and also uh, check that offer from Huawei. I hope so didn't too much confuse you. Uh, sorry, I wanted to tell you to not make too long this video. So I was talking too much longer. But I have a lot more tips and tricks about settlement siege. So check it out. And every uh, yes, also check out other my uh, other my tips and tricks of this game. I have many more tip videos about this very interesting made game. That would be it for this video. I hope that this video was somehow useful and helpful for you. And of course, if you have any questions, just ask me as, que as comments and I will try to help you. Okay, see you next videos. Bye!